Zola from Rana Plaza. You mm. saw this photo. So that's the group photo. Yeah, yeah, this is a group photo. So do you know which girl survived? She's Aki, but uh, I don't know, maybe, um, I'm not sure. At that time, uh, her father said, mm. Aki's father. As far as I remember, um, this girl, I forget the name, but uh, Aki's father gave me this photo that all mm. of them died. Only one survived. As far as I remember, she survived. So this is, would have been taken in Sava. Yeah. They all knew each other through work. Yeah, yeah, they the worked in the same and factory. Mm -hmm. And they took this photo in Bangla Happy New Year and they mm. wear the same color photo. Mm -hmm. It's a celebration. Mm -hmm. So usually they took photo, uh, workers they go to studio in an occasion because they have to pay a studio. So it's mm. not possible to take photo frequently. So can you say something about why you first started to collect these images and what, what do you think um, th these as a genre of photography do that your own documentary practice uh, doesn't? It was not fast that uh, after uh, uh, when Rana Plaza happened that time I collected a uh, family photograph but it was not the first time that uh, I collected. Uh, I started collecting photograph more than 10 years ago and that time uh, we had a workshop when I was a student that time Yasmin Itzaba, she is a member of Arab Image Foundation she took a workshop and she um, introduced us uh, how we can use different materials not only photographs for exhibit and communicate with people that time I feel maybe I, many of our other friends, they collected their, uh, uh, one of our friends, he uh, showed uh, his father photo and he collected fa his father's material, but I thought that maybe I can collect some photos from workers because mm. uh, that time I, I was uh, documenting garment workers' life. So I collected few photos and I went back to those uh, workers' uh, family with whom I have some relation and I have documented their photo. Mm. And somehow I collected the same family's photo that I have taken. And I try to understand how I document and how I um, try to show their reality and how they want to represent themselves. And mm. it's the uh, difference between my eye and their eyes. This photograph is not from Rana Plaza. It's, uh, this is uh, from Mirpur. I have taken this photo I think 2010 and I collected this photo 2012, mm -hmm. no, maybe 2010 or 11. So the same family, mm. so this is the reality mm. and I, I feel this is the dream, so this is. Were these exhibited as pairs? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. This is also from Mirpur. I have taken this photo from uh, Asma's house. She is Asma. Mm. And this photo she, uh, she took from studio. Totally different. You can feel this thing. And I took this two photo by myself. This is the when they came their friend. Mm -hmm. They came from factory and they were very tired. And we went out for hangout mm -hmm. uh, after Eid, just uh, the second day of Eid. And these things are different. It's the same thing. Another. She's Renu. She is beauty. Uh, I took this photo when she died because uh, something happened inside factory and we found her dead body just in front of uh, the factory. And the fellow workers, they were saying that uh, something happened inside, maybe any problem with administration and someone just threw her from roof. And after that, I collect this photo from her mother. And 
this is interesting her name is mukta i took this photo they are playing mukta meem and their friend and mukta took after 2 years she took this photo and this is a manipulated photo the face is only mukta face mm -hmm. and the other things maybe any actress mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. I think that uh, this is also uh, this uh, two photo also telling about their uh, life and their dream because uh, nobody wants to live in a bad condition and mm. they want to change their condition but it's not possible all the time the photo they have taken from the studio so through this two photo maybe we can uh, feel as a human being that uh, they should not stay life like this way mm -hmm. and they should get a uh, life like a human being so uh, this two photo uh, can tell about their reality and what they want to change and i think audience reader can also understand through this photo mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. We have collected many passport photo for all missing workers from their family and we went different workers houses, we went villages and many uh, workers family they posted photo uh, mm -hmm. to our organization Bangladesh Garment mm -hmm. Workers Solidarity. So what were they hoping you would how how were they hoping you would use the uh, because uh, that time we mm, uh, clarify them that we will uh, make a missing list and we will give it to government and owner because mm. most of the time when these kinds of uh, things happen like Rana Plaza collapse that time government tried to hide the number how many workers died mm. so and missing workers they always uh, face lots of problem to um, confirm that they miss someone so they mm. have to prove that someone uh, or their family member was inside so it's a struggle struggle for them so mm. that's why we think that it's important to make a missing list because from our experience we uh, saw that uh, our owner government they don't make missing list properly or dead list properly mm. that mm -hmm. time we feel that we will make a missing list but mm. as a garment workers organization it is very huge work for them mm. us but uh, we felt responsibility maybe we can try then we started to make a missing list and we tried to find uh, their identity their photos mm. and finally we make a dead list with missing list but we use the photo for only missing workers mm. we collected um, some poster first we choose very different uh, method because it was very difficult to collect uh, their information about missing workers so mm. uh, we took photo of posters through this information mm. we went their family house mm -hmm. then we collect not sure mm. These kinds of poster they made by themselves. Mm -hmm. Then we have collected this. So also. what? And they the posters they displayed around missing the factory. Sorry. They, they displayed these in the vicinity of the factory. They displayed this uh, poster just around Rana Plaza mm -hmm. because where uh, workers live, that place, uh, where the factory, in front of. Uh, police station in front of uh, hospital school mm. where maybe their dead body could go mm. so mm. yeah exhibited uh, some poster uh, mm. uh, on I think on second anniversary or third anniversary some mm. posters some collected photo mm. in front of Rana Plaza I have taken these photos just after uh, like
like um, after Rana Plaza collapse happened within one month I think that sometimes uh, you don't need information, you didn't know, or you don't need data or any other things. Uh, sometimes their faces still more than data or information. So it's just after the collapse uh, that um, time their feeling was so strong because they lost their family members. She is Shamapti Rani Dash. She works inside the factory with her two daughters. And one daughter name is Shomapti and another, uh, her name is Runa Rani, her daughter name is Shomapti and uh, another, uh, she has another daughter and three of them work inside the factory and she lost one of her daughter, Shomapti. And she uh, didn't find her dead body and yeah, so... She is Jalia, she lost her sister, she was also working inside the factory. She is Anwara, she lost her uh, son, Ridoy, and she didn't found the dead body. She is Asma, she was under the double for four days. And she had to drink her own urine and sweat uh, to survive. Her name is Amena. She was also a worker. And she is Khadiza. She was also a worker. And she lost her husband. Both of them were working inside the factory. And she is Mitali. She lost her husband. So you can see their face and eyes. Just uh, after one or two months, uh, they have with uh, strong emotion and pain. Uh, and you can understand their pain with their face. You don't need to know more uh, about uh, the collapse, the numbers and other things. Um, I uh, think that uh, through their faces we can tell that uh, about their life and how much important they are for us. And life's not numbers uh, i think this statement is uh, not only about rana plaza workers it's about the uh, uh, garment workers uh, you know that i'm working on garment workers life and struggle for more than 11 years and if anyone asks me how i can uh, define my work or how i can title my work i think this is the very mm -hmm. small and strong statement through this I can introduce my whole work or we can introduce garment workers life and struggle mm. through this statement.